the knob, nah, baby. Nah. Just dropped the banger though. Bruh. You think it's a banger? I'm just waiting, y'all, because he fit. <laughs> when I brung up this topic, <laughs> Switchum been giving me a face. <laughs> and he normally talks right before, but he's been real quiet. He wanted to save his hot take. Yeah, the no fact man. he got an opinion on the young boys anyway. <laughs> hey. Ain't no telling what we're finna go. So. So set the, set the, set the table. I'm finna what? set the table set the right table. now. So if you don't know, Six Nine is the famous snitch. Well, I don't think the he, first famous snitch. The first, the first, <laughs> the first famous snitch. That's a rapper. They got out and was still able to be successful in the rap game. And admitted to snitching. And admitted to snitching. Well, he had to because he was live on TV. Yeah. Okay. So now, ever since he been back, they said nobody was going to work with him. Well, been a bunch of people working with him. He's still doing selling out shows. Still doing very well. Overseas, though. Overseas. Mm -hmm. But he had a couple of... It's a hell of a strategy, though. Oh, it's a major strategy. Right. right. Whack, he, he's affiliated with the right people to get him in the right direction. Whack 100 is his manager. And he and he pulling the strings. You know Whack 100 don't care what nobody think about him. Because it's just about the bag. He's about the bag. He's Absolutely. about business. Okay? Right. So Whack pulled up, pulled up in his manager bag and was able to pull off a feature with Kodak Black. A real zo. A real zo. <laughs> Got a couple of people upset, but we're going to get to that point. The song is fire if you haven't heard it. Kodak even is dissing 6 9 on the same song, and they have a video for it. Lyrics are crazy. And if you're Takashi, you got to take that. Yeah. You got to take it. Yeah. But Takashi don't care because he know if he's getting dissed on his own sales. songs. Controversy sales. Controversy sales. And Kodak is allegedly getting a million dollars for this. No, 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 no. Ain't no alleged. Minimum, okay. minimum. I just said allegedly because we think, don't know for sure. I think it's probably a couple. Okay. I think it might be three. This is what I know. They did a million views in an hour on the video. And them yeah. one bots. Yeah. Them one bots. I can. I don't think them. So even if he wasn't paid a million, he gonna make more than a million off the song. Right. Okay. Your thoughts, Switcher. Let's go here first. I, I want to hear what he got to say first. No, I want to hear what he said. No, I want to defer. Okay, I'm gonna okay defer. go defer. I'm defer. All right. So, I'm going to preface this. Let me preface it first. Okay. 6 9 is not a street dude. Civilian. He's, He's a civilian. Absolutely. Now, he played the role absolutely. of a street dude He's to, to gain fame. Right. Right? Absolutely. Entertainment. Not a street dude. So, what 6 9 did... I don't have an issue with. He's a civilian. His his crew, for people that don't know, allegedly was doing everything. Sleeping so with his girl. No, 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 no. Not sleeping with a girl. Running a train. Running a train, train on his girl, girl allegedly. Making him watch. <laughs> making him watch. Rob the man. Kidnap the, the man. man. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, he don't owe him nothing. I ain't got no problem. He don't owe him nothing. nothing. I ain't got no problem with what 6ix9ine is eventually did. Okay. That's on 6ix9ine. Now. Oh, hold on, wait. I need a hot take, bud. Hot take. Kodak Black. Oh, wow. Is a street dude. Right? Correct. So, Kodak Black signed up for a set of code for his life. Okay. Because he a street dude. Okay. Okay. In that light, I can't agree with it. Oh. I simply cannot agree with it. Kodak Black, you represent the streets. To me, working with a rat... It's just, you can't do it. Like, wow. you simply cannot do it. Wow, wow. That, that's the hot take of the year. I, you just can't do it. So, so you you agree with Boosie? 100%. Wow. 100%. Boosie is not hating at all. Boosie oh. is speaking for a segment of people that are in the streets. Not civilians. People in the streets. Okay. If you in the streets, you don't work with rats. <clears throat> Period. End the discussion. You want to okay. roll with so I'm going to say this. This is all business. All right. At the end of the day, this is about business. This ain't about street. Like, mm -hmm. I believe Kodak said in the line, I ain't flipping a brick with him. I'm just flipping a verse with him. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So 
I personally feel nothing wrong with him doing the song. Because at the end of the day, the question still got to be, what am I really, what is he really compromising though? Mm. Right? We don't know. They weren't probably in the studio together. Mm-hmm. All they did was probably shot, he probably gave him an hour of his time to pull up and shoot the, shoot the video, whatever mm-hmm. it was going to be. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, how can you say that the street dude is supposed to keep street principles when he's supposed to elevate when he has an opportunity to elevate and make everybody around him better. Right. Right? So you want him to turn down the bag based on morals and principles that typically spin these dudes out and get them 20, 30, 40 years because they abide by codes that really are typically one-sided. Mm-hmm. The streets typically be one-sided on morals and on codes mm-hmm. because those codes typically benefit the people at the top. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. So, for instance, with Boosie, Boosie sound like a hater. Absolutely, he sound like an absolute hater. Boosie sound like a big hater. Boosie sound like the OG that'll make the young boys go spin out and lose their life and their freedom, just so they can continue to push forward an agenda that makes no. him elevated and 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 and, and kind of like. Uh, I disagree. Okay. Boosie to me sound like the real one, the one that say if you're willing to work with this dude because money is involved on this track, what's but any different than? But right, but what's the difference between you working with the dude if you sell him a brick? Well, because what's, here's, the, what's because the difference? Here's the difference. He's still a rat. The whole goal of the streets. It's business, is, right? But the whole goal of the streets. Oh, eventually, if you in the streets, the whole goal is to get away from the streets. Right. 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 So, to, in order to do some business, you got to get away from the street mentality that says, "Oh, I cannot do this because." Right. I agree with that. Right. I agree with that. So, so the thing also is. Why would you sit here and say, I'm going to turn down a million dollars? Do you know what a million dollars can do for who Kodak supports? Absolutely. Absolutely. But you heard, you heard, ever heard the saying, all money ain't good money? Hmm. But this is entertainment, though. This ain't even real life. See, see we getting caught up in that but, entertainment but, but facade. Re- regardless of entertainment, all money ain't good money. A million dollars, all good money. It all so, counts. So, so for me, and I feel like for Boosie, too, as a man, you got a code of standards that you set, mm-hmm. Right. And when it comes to being a street dude, if you really a street dude, I ain't saying you everything got to be street now. I'm just saying it's certain principles that you live by okay. as a man. And you stand on it. And you got to stand on it no matter what. But he's not a friend. So right. Takashi's not Kodak's friend. Right. They are not in the same circle. Right. They don't, they don't, they, they probably never broke bread together right. in no capacity. They mm-hmm. ain't probably even passed the blunt to each other. Right. So what does he owe anybody? But, this but, is business. So for me, it's not about it's entertainment. So for me, it's not about what does he owe. It's signing off credibility for six nine by you being a street dude and saying I'm willing to look past here, what you but, did. But, but here's the part to work with you because but, it's just business. But, here, but here's here's the part that don't nobody want to talk about. All right. The streets do it all the time. Okay. They give snitches passes all the time. Okay. They give disrespect passes all the time. Right. But what it I think, happens all the but time. But what I think Boosie is, is saying is. I thought you was better than that, Black. I thought you was better than that. I thought you was a real one. But you're not. It's Ain't all it. about the bag to you. like. But it's entertainment. We don't know what Kodak really going to do in a real I, situation. I, just, I can't get because it. Because this is just well, entertainment. Well, so, we, well, we know what Kodak going to do in a real situation. He got a thousand mug shots. Yeah. And done right. plenty of time. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Right. I don't think, I don't think this, this for, for what I feel like who Kodak is, he looked at this as like, this is business. Right. Like you ain't finna sit here and tell me I'm finna turn a bag down. I can't. I can't agree with it. And if 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 it was Drake, I wouldn't have an issue with it. If it was just some regular civilian type rapper that ain't ain't in the streets, ain't never been in the streets, that ain't what they mm. sign, co-signing on. Right. I ain't got no issue with it. But do what you do. I don't is, care about you giving uh, six nine that clout. But if you are actual, if you if you rapping like you this street dude, let's like, what would you do if Gucci Gucci Mane showed up? Working with six nine, I know Gucci wouldn't do it though. Exactly. Well, why wouldn't Gucci do it? But six, but Kodak would. The same reason why Boosie would. Exactly. Because they real do. That's a different generation though. It's a different generation. I was gonna say it's the older generation. It's the older. generation. But see, I think that's that's the issue here, and that's what Boosie is talking about. But people saying he a hater, but he can't speak on things that are outside his purview. Mm. This is this is this is this is Boosie trying to have a conversation with kids. When but see, I don't, I don't think it's that, though. I think Boosie looked at Kodak and saw himself as a young man. Like, man, that dude is just like me. But I can see that, though. 
Right. I can see it. I can but see he should it. want him to be better, better than, him than him from a business standpoint. Because no, Boosie, Boosie messed off a lot of business trying to still be the street really? league. Five and, years, but see, doing this. But see, I, I don't think he, I don't think he considered it messing off by being loyal to who you are. So who wasn't Kodak loyal to? He wasn't loyal to the streets, the people that he represent. Man, but that's the mentality that gets the boys spent off to stay in the streets and mess their no, freedom Boosie, off no, and Boosie, mess their name. No, no, no. Boosie ain't saying stay in the streets. What Boosie is saying is you represent. So this. I got to take the street mentality to the boardroom. No, 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 no. You ain't got to take it to the boardroom. You just got to realize who you are and what you represent. It's just like this. We had a conversation previously about uh, Tiger Woods joining Lil Golf, right? Right. It didn't have nothing to do with the bag. Tiger turned it down. He would have made a lot of money, right? Yeah, it was a business bag. decision. Hold on. It was a business decision, right? For Tiger, if he wanted to take the money with Lil, right. he could have just took the money with Lil and went to Lil. But that was about it. Was, it was a lot of money, right? Right. He, he got money. Kodak got money. He got money and legacy already. So if you Tiger had money and legacy before to live, so he didn't need it, right? And I'm talking about I had all of it, right? Right. Kodak. So is that million dollars life changing for Kodak? Hey, it it's, it it keeps me going. It keeps me going. It keeps me going well, to the next thing. Kodak had already acknowledged on Rolling Loud this weekend when he performed. Mm-hmm. He said, "I got people to feed." Yeah, man. That's what he said on stage. Because if not, you go. Because if if he don't take the million, guess what he got? He got the people going through his house like Boosie got his cousin going to steal 10 grand from him. Why his cousin got to go steal 10 grand from him if, if he already put his cousin in position to eat? Right? Man, I, I feel and, it, but... And a side note, by the way, for this Lil situation he's talking about, Phil Nickerson took the 400 million. Yeah, he had the bag. And guess what, though? Now Lil is a part of PGA, so now he's right. back in PGA and getting another bag. Right. So to me, Phil won, in my opinion. Uh, and to me, Kodak <laughs> won. And Kodak so, gonna win. So, so <laughs> technically, you could say that he won because he got the money, but he sold his soul for the money, and that's they what Boosie. Is, that's what Boosie is basically saying. You <laughs> sold. You sold selling your soul for a million dollars. Who you are? You no longer. He didn't, who sell, you once he were. didn't sell his soul. I, this is what I feel like. Why is Yak gonna continue? To have a mentality that could keep him trapped, but that mentality is not keeping him trapped. It, it, but it possibly so, can. So I think people look. I think people viewing this as what, what Boosie is saying as you gotta always be this street dude. You can't ever. You can't ever go commercial. That ain't what he's saying at all. In my opinion, no, I think I what he's saying is what he's, saying. he's saying this dude is a rat. He don't represent what you represent. Is is not. You talking about business? It's not good business to represent or to 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 basically uh, uplift something that you don't represent. To me, I I just can't I can't get with it well, at all. I, well, I think it's terrible. I think well, the, what's unfortunate about Boosie, right? He just seems like a person that hasn't matured to me. Mm. I think I think Boosie is very immature. Mm. I think Absolutely. the internet is what keep him in trouble. Mm. Boosie finna go sit down in the feds again. Yeah. Because I, he's, cause I don't, I don't think Boosie has elevated, and I feel like, and I feel like that's why all his peers has left him. Mm. Jesus one of his homeboys, but Jesus can't be but seen I, with. But him. I, but I tell you this, so you talking about the people that are elevated? You talking about all this in the South? Boosie is like the Jay Z of the South, right? People look at that man as like he so, he the Jay Z of the South. So I'm gonna say this, based on that comment, what you just said. If I go back and look at. Boosie's like live performances as a late mm-hmm. man. The crowd don't even rock with Boosie the same way mm-hmm. because the music has aged so much in between the time of keeping a relevant hit right. to me, just based on what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. So now he's become this voice because he knows I got to be more vocal in this area because I feel like I'm waning over here. Mm-hmm. That's what I just feel like, right? So true enough, he may be the Jay Z of the South, but right. even Hov lacks a little bit of relevance even still right. from a music standpoint right. right now. But I think that's just from getting older. Right. His, but his, if you're getting older, you're supposed to mature from the mindset of be like, hey, man, the young boy had to go and do what he had to do. No. I'm not going to speak on it from a street perspective. No, 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 no. Because no. they don't have the same no, morals and no, principles for no, no. the same No, because, but so here's the deal. You don't, just because you elevate yourself from being a in the street environment, that ain't what he's telling Kodak Black to do. He's not telling him to stay in the streets. Once again, if you want to go commercial, go commercial. So he, go have singles with with so Drake and uh, uh, all these other guys that ain't street. That's fine. But, but why you got to pick the rat? But well, why not? Because he don't represent what you represent. 
we don't know what Kodak represents. No. We, we do know. know what he represents. No, no, we know what he's rapped about. Right, the, the streets. Past, that's that's right? what he was. We don't know street. where he's gonna go and we're gonna elevate to. Man, I can't get with it, man. I, I, all money ain't good money, man. That's the word. Now, that's that's the I'm phrase getting, of the now, day. Here, but here go the thing: if I'm Kodak's advisor, I I wouldn't have signed off on it personally. Ain't no way. Because I would be thinking about like, all right, well, if this is what you're trying to do, like, are we getting away from that persona? Are we getting away from the streets at that point? Right. Like right. that, you don't know what the conversation Kodak may have had with his team. Yeah, we don't right. know. We don't mm-hmm. know who, who what OGs he because Boosie in the video talking about. I know some reals old. Never said nobody by name. Right. He never said nobody that he knew around us in Kodak's circle. Yeah. So again, we don't know what Kodak and who he consulted with to say, hey, "Fellas, what y'all think about this?" Let me let me tell you another thing. Mm-hmm. Boosie is online pleading and begging for other people to come out and speak out just like him. Right. Nobody else is coming out well, doing. Well, it. there's a reason for that because because they don't want to mess up their no, bag. No. Well, exactly. So they but so here's the deal. That's what everything Boosie talk about. People people don't people don't speak up like he do, but he know he speaks to a crowd of people that enjoy what he's talking about and, and what he's saying. Can I just be honest? The people that he's talking to. They're not buying music and going to concerts. They okay. They not. Right. They're, not, they're not a consumer. Right. So this I is, agree with that. So this is what I tell people. I don't really care about trying to dedicate to the streets because the streets is not what gets you rich. Right. These Definitely. little white these little white kids, they buying all the merch. Right. They, they going to all the festivals. They, right. they streaming. streaming right. They buying the music. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it's pointless really to keep it with the streets, bro. I disagree, man. It, I think it just depends on what you are so and who you are. We ain't, we haven't, it's been... But like you said, if, if Kodak been, is trying to go that route where he is owning everything about where he came from, what he used to be, that's fine. I don't think it is. I think, here go the thing, it's been 72 hours, man, we ain't heard, we ain't heard from nobody from Florida. We ain't heard from nobody from, from Miami. Right. Ain't nobody said nothing. Right. Because I honestly feel, at the end of the day, I believe he really made some calls to figure out what this looked like. Mm. I believe Wack was 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 mindful enough to do the same thing for yeah. Kodak. I really do believe it. I, I just think that people see that Boosie being portrayed as this hater because he's speaking out. Everybody's I so I believe, and so I, they just don't want to be a part it, of it. It's, it's, so it's, why speak up? He already he already done took the fall for it. Just let him take the fall. I believe even Boosie if you agree with what he's saying, leader mm. Boosie is leading a mentality. That continues to keep people down. Man. Right. That's that's what I really. Thought. I don't think so. So I, I don't think it's immaturity. I don't think he. I don't think it's none of that. Because I don't think he's telling the man not to go get the bag. I think what he's telling me is, bro, you represent this. You supposed to be. Rep- These are your core fans. This is what you about. So, so you're gonna you can't point. just here flip go. on that and be like, man, forget all that. We just going This is what we doing now. So here go the question. <laughs> here go the question. All right. Who gonna work with Gun? I don't know. Because now. All this done no did, all this done did <laughs> is basically said that what Kodak has affirmed is that there are more guys like Kodak in this business mm-hmm. who are thinking about, man, if the number right, I'm going to go do this song. Right. So that just lets me know, going to be straight. Yeah. And 6 9 going to continue to be all right. Absolutely. Because guess what? Yeah. People like if the I definitely agree with that. Do it. I definitely agree with that. But, and another thing, the new generation is not like the old generation. Yeah. Right. They don't care about none of those yeah. things. Right. I think Boosie is in a losing battle. I yeah, think that's I why think I, I think no that's why nobody's coming to he was like what he say on, on his Instagram live? I just need about two or three people, man. Somebody speak out with me, man. I know I can't be the only person feel like this. Boosie. Nobody's coming. I don't think he I don't think he's the only one that feel like that. But I they think not he's the only one willing to actually say it. And guess what though? Everybody else music that part feel like that is still relevant. Boosie music's not relevant. It don't hit the same. Exactly. Well, if you're relevant, no, 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 no. you're not gonna say anything. Oh no 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 no. Boosted music is relevant to the people that he make the music for. Oh, now, yeah, okay. It may not be relevant commercially. He got small pockets. Right. He got it. He, he, he it's a, touches it's, it's a very, it's a people. very, it's a very, it's a very focused group. Absolutely. Very, Absolutely. And don't get it twisted now. We love Boosted. Right. Yeah. But I just think he's looking like a hater. And it's not just this situation. He in everybody's business. Right. Getting real sassy now. Right. Getting real he sassy. might as well just start a podcast if he wants to speak he on it. He should start a podcast. Cause he cause he, he need a reality show is what he needs. Because he speaks on he everything. Time. He oh, he got time. <laughs> <laughs> Boosty finna go sit. Oh, yeah, and that's yeah. his lawyers. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's his lawyers. And I see he just filed a motion that said that it, it ruined his rights to go against mm-hmm. his rights, violates his rights of, of Instagram, some hey, video. Man. 
Man, them, hey man, them feds came. It, it's 99, 93%, 93% conviction rate, Jack. Hey man, it was a, hey, we hit that pretty good, man. Y'all let us know. I'm here. Up. Click the button right here. Up. Subscribe. No petty kicks. Each and every week, we live copy all the no petty kicks, man. You know, nothing but the flyers. Subscribe. Tune in. Tell your friends and turn your notification buttons on.